Today we're going to be looking at the top three patterns that are high profitable. So one thing that I'll say is that I've been trading the currency world for the past five years and I've seen that there's a lot of patterns out there in the markets, but there's only specific patterns that are profitable. And the ones that I'm going to be breaking down here, I'm going to show you guys how I was able to discover them being profitable and how you can actually execute and how you can find them into turning them to winning patterns because at the end you can find a pattern but if you haven't got a backstory of it it's very close to impossible for you to be able to make a profit it's almost like you are gambling but if you've got a backstory you've got that pattern then obviously you are able to know what's more likely to happen in the next few days or hours or minutes depending on the time frame that you're looking at so that's what we're going to be focusing more on breaking down some of the top three profitable trading patterns that can help you in your trading. Obviously, if you happen to find video from this video, make sure that you like and as well subscribe to my YouTube channel, turn on the notification bell so it can you can get to be updated whenever I upload a new video, such as today's video, whereby you'd be able to get closer to your goals just by help, um, me helping you trade the financial markets a bit more better. So looking at it, um, I've got my screen here and I want us to head over and start off without even wasting time, start off by first posting or talking about the very first pattern. And the very first pattern, I'm sure you guys are aware of it, it's seen as a symmetrical pattern. So symmetrical pattern would be seen as price or the horizon, the resistant is actually going to the downside and as well, the resistant is actually going as well to the downside. So obviously something similar to this, we won't see this as a symmetrical yet, but this we can see as a symmetrical. That's one thing I wanted to show you guys. But we'll be getting into it on how you can identify it. So one thing that I like about looking at these patterns is that, especially the symmetrical that we're going to be covering now, one thing that I like is that it allows you to be able to spot the next movement, even though it doesn't necessarily mean that price is going to continue in that direction or it's going to reverse. Symmetrical patterns are one of the high pro profitable patterns because they give a high risk compared to reward. Let me show you guys what I mean by that. And as well, let us identify one quick symmetrical pattern. So I'm just gonna go back here on my structures here and I'll see if maybe I can be able to spot one quick symmetrical. Oh yes, I can see it with my naked eye. The way I've been trading the market so for so long, I can see these patterns with my naked eye. So I just spotted one here and looking at it, obviously I will just be able to put this right here and as well the support line right here. So obviously I can simply see that my pattern, it has this specific, my support is actually going, looking to the upside and my resistance is looking to the downside. So that's one way to spot out these patterns and looking at it, like let's say for instance, here we came from being an impulsive nature near to the upside. So once we got into this corrective phase, we started seeing this pattern, symmetrical pattern. Obviously, the mindset would say maybe you should continue going to the upside with it. But this could as well be meaning a reversal pattern. How we would be spotting this buy or this continuation pattern to the upside would be only when price breaks above here. So only when price breaks above here. It's either there's two ways that you can go about entering this. So for instance, you can either enter it as soon as it confirms the breakout. Let's say this it broke out here. Maybe I'll put my buy stop somewhere around here and my stop loss maybe somewhere around here let's see 62 pips is a bit too much i'm more comfortable with around 30 somewhere around here 39 yes and then obviously take profit would be seen as maybe a level such as here i'll be looking at taking profit here and there. so somewhere around here which is close to seven percent but even though the maximum that we went to was 5.6 percent so even if it didn't he take profit but we still went home with 5.6 percentages and what the second way that you can go about it is this retest after the breakout normally the price can come back to retest the previous resistant as support doesn't happen all the time but when it does happen it's actually a high a higher it adds up to your criteria like let's say if you are looking for this and this and that and that it adds up to those things so yeah let's say now for instance i can see a retest still came through here so let us see if you can spot another continuation pattern i mean another symmetrical pattern just so you guys are able to spot already i can see maybe on the 15 minute okay already i can see here there's a young symmetrical pattern because if i'm able to just draw up my line like this and as well i draw up my lows just like this obviously guys what is this this is a symmetrical pattern impulse correction 
that correction me studying it i'm able to spot that it's a symmetrical pattern and then boom shoot it shut down nearly retested but it still continued going all the way to the downside let us take a look at the risk compared to reward as well the breakout here obviously once it breaks out this is where you'd normally have your stops and your take profit just above any level just above here and maybe first take profit could be here at the low you're looking at a 3.6 percent but overall this price went all the way down to 15 percent close to 15 percent like over 15 percent to be honest that's how long it went to the downside so that is the first pattern that you guys should be looking at so now moving over to the second pattern that i found to be very profitable high win rate and everything it's the flag so with the flag um i can even easily spot one that we used right here to get this beautiful trade so with the flag just by drawing it for you it's either maybe it's just like this or it's either maybe it's just like this you understand so where the price is coming from the up and then it does this then it goes back down or it's coming from the downside i mean down and then it does this and then it goes back down but at the end this is seen as a flag why because normally flags are like this and like this and like this and like this so, so this is how normally you'd see a flag so with flags one thing that i like is that with the sonya it's very easy to follow through with symmetrical remember we did say even though it's a bit more better to use them for continuation pattern as continuation patterns mean that if you've been dropping and you see symmetrical you can still use it as an indication that you are going to still continue to to drop but it's normally it doesn't necessarily mean that it's going to drop find out that it can actually break out to the outside find out that it's actually a reversal but now with these flags these flags actually represent continuation patterns to those specific directions let's say now for instance looking at this we came from being an impulse to the downside we experienced a flag and then boom we went all the way to the downside and while going all the way to the downside there's two ways that you can go about entering the flag so normally you'd see that at the resistance there would be three touches now we've got what we call the third touch um analysis so let's say this being our first touch is here i'm looking at the 15 minute that's how we we're able to get it but this being our second touch at, the, at our third touch normally we'd wait for indications anything a hammer candlestick engulfing whatever that can be a signal for us to enter that's when we take it so maybe i took it just as i saw this hammer or maybe i took it just as i saw this engulfing let's say i saw this engulfing and i took it please my cell stop loss just above here and my take profit looking at area obviously i'll be looking to take profit at support 4.9 close to 5 percent i can easily squeeze this to a 5 percent 5 percent on just the single trade and maybe if you happen to not this we normally see them as risk entries but if you don't want to be catching risk entries you can still get yourself reduced the risk entries and what they do is that you enter when they've broken out of that pattern so for instance looking at this flag you would have entered had a sell stop below here stop loss would be just above here take profit would still be at the same area somewhere around here but now your risk compared to reward is now a bit less but at the same time you are not going to lose more trades compared to the risk entry because with the risk entry you're going to lose more trades even though the rewards are going to be more than the amount that you're going to be making when you are taking a reduced risk entry so let us see if we can spot another pattern um another flag pattern so yes i can see a similar type um flag pattern right here price went down like this and price went down as soon as it went down here you can simply see that we got this area being our first touch one thing that i like about this is that it, it came as a reversal so remember it works for me it has been working perfectly so normally i've been spot them i've been able to get them i've been able to find a much more better momentum and higher quality setups when they've been in continuation setups but even in reversals they can work let's say for instance take a look at this um price happened to have got here but i'd say that reversals are a bit more too advanced because i'll show you guys um price came back and first thing i had to look for what we are at support yes we came from being an impulsive to a downside but we are now at support so obviously i can see from previous structure here support so obviously here we are at support and at the same time i had to draw up my multi time frame analysis and confirm that we are at the third touches so yeah it was a bit more advanced because i was looking for third touches i wasn't looking for a breakout i was more looking for third touches and i remember this trade we caught it perfectly because as soon as we got we saw this hammer remember it's the same thing that we saw in the previous setup as soon as we saw the hammer we bought 
We had a sales, I mean, a, a, a stop loss somewhere below, and our take profit was somewhere around these areas here, seven percent. So even if you don't want to catch it like this, this is a risk entry. Even if you don't want to catch it like this, you can still be able to let price break out. You can catch on the breakout, or you can wait for the retest. Here, the retest you buy, and then you have your stop loss be below um here, and then you can still have your take profit here, which can still give around the same um, amount of risk compared to rewards. So this is the second type of pattern that I use. But let me see another example whereby I've been able to use this successfully, which is today we're able to spot this nicely, just that we missed the trade on this because as soon as the market opened, it actually impulsed in our direction. But take a look at this. Let me even go on the 15 minute to show you guys that it doesn't even just work on one specific time frame. Listen on the 15 minute. What I'm seeing here is price coming and giving me this specific thing even on the 15 minutes it's appearing or looking like it's actually asymmetrical in a specific way just by coming back on the 16 minute removing this right here okay mm, 15 minutes sorry about that let me just remove this 15 minute lines yes 16 minute so there's a bit more to advance remember some of these patterns are not going to be picture perfect but take a look at this this pattern here Price kept pushing downwards. As soon as it pushed downwards, it started impulsing a bit here. There was no clear upward or downward movement. But as soon as it started moving out of the structure, that's when, boom, price started shooting downwards impulsively. And as soon as it started shooting downwards impulsively, that's when you, it's either you could have caught an entry here when price kept on rejecting some around here. Obviously, you'd have your sell stop below, your stop loss just above here, and your take profit. We're looking into um, taking profit somewhere around this was actually our first take profit area, but somewhere around here, this is our overall take profit, close to a 7%. So these, one thing that I like is that they also do allow you to be able to make the most. That's why I say they are high pro profitable patterns that actually have a higher win rate. So now moving over to the third pattern. So now moving over to the third pattern. So with these ones, I've been able to spot them being the ascending type patterns. Not even just ascending type, ascending or descending type patterns. Normally these ones, you'd see them when the market is a bit too steep. Like let's say now for instance, um, here I've got one beautiful ascending type. So what happened here is that price was pushing downwards impulsively and then price started moving a bit more to the upside here and when it moved upwards yes it was a corrective phase but this corrective was steep so these ones you only spot them in steep situations let's say now you are at a resistance and you're looking to get that steeper entry risk entry that's when you'd be able to spot these patterns when the market is let me just draw it for you guys so you're able to see so these ones will be seen as the other price is going to be like something similar to this price whether it's coming from down Let's say it's coming from down and then it starts moving upwards in this way. Maybe it will continue going down. Or maybe if um, it's, it's coming from downwards like this. And then it's coming from down here it being an uptrend and then it does this. What it means is that it's going to end up being a reversal. So one pattern means two different things according to where it comes from. When it comes from at the top going down and then it does this pattern, it means that it's going to continue going down. When it comes from the bottom and then it does this pattern, it means that it's actually going to, it's losing momentum. It's going to go to the downside. So even it happens when there is a downward movement. Let's say when this pattern is seen as a downward side. Let's say it's steep but in a down. Okay, I can't really draw it there all, but if let's say price is moving, pushing down, then it starts doing like this in a steep way. That's when you see price and then pushing upwards. Even if price is coming from down, then it's that it does this in a steep way. You'd see price pushing downwards and then you see price going back to the, to the downside. So let's say for instance, like I did say, a perfect example would be this exact one that we used here. But I'm sure even if I go back on data, back on structures, we'd be able to spot one beautiful ascending type pattern right here. Um, Okay, right here you can see I've got this area. Um, how I drew it was I got this low and I got the second higher low. And just by having my resistance, just to see if it qualifies to be what I did say, boom. Yes, it does qualify. Look at this, guys. Perfect. One, two. And before it got to three, yeah, we got this engulfing candle. It's actually an evening star. So with these evening stars, you can easily just have yourself stop here. Yeah? Stop loss just above here. Yeah? 26 pips. It's even perfect. First take profit would be maybe here six percent. Second take profit would be maybe at the low, and you are looking at a ten percent. So these are the top three 
profitable patterns that I believe have been working for me. And I believe that if you can start looking at how I'm using them, you can also implement them and see higher returns in your trading. Hopefully this will help. This will help you be able to trade with confidence. So barely someone to be comment below what you guys are thinking. Comment below also what are the top profitable patterns that you've been using that you found success using. Maybe other people will be able to learn from you as well. And make sure that you already do like this video if you happen to have found value from it. And as well, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Hit the notification bell so whenever I upload a video, you will be the very first person to be updated. And I will see you in the next YouTube video. So, Bailey Samutupi, thank you so much for watching.